Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Stacy Cobb and today we're making a welcome baby card or at least we're going to try to using my Misty stamping tool. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, piece of white cardstock. The stamp I used for this is a um, stamp from Stampin' Up, and it came originally on a wood block. I removed the wood block, so that's why I kind of taped it to the inside of the stamping tool. As we go along, you'll see that I struggled with a few things with this. I used walnut embossing glaze from just the distress line uh, that Ranger makes with Tim Holtz. And I used uh, Tim Holtz distress oxides in mowed lawn and tumbled blast for this portion. Here I'm using some inexpensive uh, blending brushes that I got from Amazon. Everything that I use in this video will be available at, in the description below. I used a very light touch with this because you didn't want to leave any big blotches or blobs of color, um, trying to get an, an even coverage. Here I'm just using some tumbled glass. Tumbled glass is one of my favorite uh, blues because it's a really pretty light blue. It looks gorgeous as uh, a sky color. I also colored this with some Faber-Castell polychromos colors. I used some greens uh, and I believe I used a, a violet or a purple color for one of the flowers just to kind of enhance the image itself. I haven't done a whole lot of color blending this summer. I had shoulder surgery earlier this summer and it kind of uh, impaired me just a little bit. But I'm starting to get back into it. I will have another video coming out. No. shortly I hope uh, where I show an unboxing of Tim Holtz distress watercolor pencils from Ranger Inc and I'm very excited to uh, get into that because I do love watercolor pencils I sped this up a little bit as you can tell by how fast my hand moves but probably not enough I had some problems with the video of this and uh, here I'm showing you that the sentiment I use come from this pack by Recollections which is a Michaels store brand and I think I got this on a clearance uh, sale there at Michaels and I've used that sentiment pack so many times it's really a wonderful set Anyway, I'm trying to position it here. This is where things will begin to start going sideways with this. I used uh, a Sizzix embossing uh, fluid. I don't know what else you would call it. It's a sticky pad. It's just like a um, Versamark clear pad it's a that one's much used and much beloved it's getting darker and darker as we go anyway it works just fine it works very much like any other embossing pad that i've ever used okay and this is where i start to make the first of a series of bad decisions i thought this would be really cool i thought it was more silvery than it was Turns out 
it wasn't. And turns out it was just a really sparkly clear embossing powder. It didn't really show up against the background. And so I tried stamping it again with a shaded lilac, but I didn't stamp it right the first time. So I stamped it again. That's what this is showing my second go around here. And the problem is I didn't stop to consider that I needed more space around the sentiment itself. So I didn't use this one either. Genius that I am here. But I used the Tim Holtz uh, label set. I can't think of what they're called. Um, I just got them there from Chapter 3, 2022 from Sizzix. They're a wonderful set. I love them. I use them all the time for various things. It's probably my favorite set. Uh, anyway, because I didn't give myself enough space around the sentiment, you know. Anyway, I did it again. And the second time, I cut the label out first. And then I stamped the sentiment into the label. This time I got it centered. And it's exactly what I wanted it to do. It looks great. I used the shaded lilac. I thought that would go well with the baby theme. And then I used some clear embossing powder on this sentiment. And that will just make that sentiment pop. And I probably did it twice just to make sure the sentiment came through nice and clear and everything looks great. Tapping everything off. It's funny because most of the time I can't hardly see, I can't hardly pull my um, em embossing gun, my heat tool over to my desk because the cord is too short. So I'm going to use the sentiment I just made to cover up the mistake I made earlier. See, welcome baby. Looks great. I'm going to glue that on with some collage medium from Distress. The Distress line by Tim Holtz. Uh, it's made by Ranger. And you can get it at a variety of online dealers as well as I believe Michaels carries it. Not sure about that. Now I'm going to trim the excess off of this card because I'm going to... Uh, basically mat it onto a, a card base and the card base I've chosen is a, a nice uh, spring green color and I think it looks really great I clipped the edges kind of rounded them off you don't have to do this sometimes my clipper doesn't work very good but anyway there it is I'm gonna go around the edges of my uh, background and that'll just kind of give it a more finished look oh yeah that looks great put a little bit more collage medium on the back and stick it on there as centered as I can get it pressing it down sometimes I like to use a roller because I really think it it just um, helps it to adhere better now I'm going to trim off a piece of paper. This is white writing paper. Um, it's a very fine, smooth paper, lightweight. Works great inside cards. It doesn't give it a lot of bulk or anything. I just glue it along one edge, as you'll see. And then stick it in there along the seam and you've got a place to write your sentiment all right i apologize you might be able to hear my television set in the background it was uh going in the other room and it's getting a little loud anyway we're just about done with this and i think it turned out really good i added some silver stickles to it 
and just to give it a little pop of bling. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. It's free. I really appreciate you, your support. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.